Well, hello. This is a game on the Atari 8-bit family of computers called Buried Bucks by Mr. Tom Hudson. I played this game an awful lot back in the day, back in the way back time. I see this as a 1982 game. I think this is actually a pretty good game for, I think, what's fairly early in the system's history. Although, that being said, there was the 400 and the 800 well before I got my own Atari 600 XL in 1983. In any case, this game is a lot of fun to play, so let us go ahead and give it a go. Play a helicopter. There's uh, buried treasure represented by the dollar signs. You dig holes using bombs. You can shoot straight down. You can shoot side to side. You cannot shoot up, which uh, would be nice in some ways, but it's a constraint on the game that actually makes it a little more interesting in a sense that you have to think about what you're doing. Do a little bit of planning ahead. That's how it was in the uh, the before times, before there were four video games were as sophisticated as, as they are today. There are quite a few interesting details about this game, interesting behavioral things that uh, do make it interesting to play. So obviously the plane that goes across the top is carrying uh, an improbably large amount of uh, dirt, I guess. It must be dirt. The way it behaves is fairly dirt-like. Just loves to drop down the holes that you blew through the soil, the rock, the dirt. I guess it's dirt, I don't know. Dirt or rocks, either one. Uh, do I have time for that? I do have time for that. Good news. So you scoot in, grab the treasure. You have to drop one off before you can uh, pick up another one. You can't run into much of anything in this game. You can't hit the ground, you can't hit the explosions, you can't hit the dirt falling from the plane. I don't think you can actually go high enough to hit the plane, but I'm sure if you could, you would crash right into the plane. Let's actually check that out. Uh, nope. Ooh, lucky you didn't drop one on my head there. There's water, which adds a bit of a mechanic to the game, which is kind of interesting as well, and that always happens. Double Double dirt, double dirt drop right on your head, just as you're trying to dig down. So a key thing that you do in this game is uh, make sure there's other holes for the plane to fill in. Uncannily accurate uh, bombing control on that plane. Eventually you can dig down and get all the treasures. And oh my gosh. Alright. That'll do it for this level. surprised that the game level generation did not stick one of these treasures underneath the water. It's, uh, it's kind of interesting what happens with the water. It gradually, presumably as the game has time between calculating other things, the water will flow down and gradually fill up the hill. Let me see if I can show that without destroying my chances of finishing the level here. See it a wee bit on that one. There we go. That'll do it. Oh, that was actually quite quick. Sometimes it's slower, maybe when it's only got a little bit of filling to do. 
All right, annoying. Let us uh, see if we can't get can't grab this guy. Uh, game does get a little harder as it progresses. I mean, in the first number of levels, the difficulty is increased by the uh, height of the dirt that you're working with. Closer to the plane means that you've got less time to get clear of those dirt lumps before they fill in the hole. Am I clear? Oh, just barely. Still clear? Maybe? Yes. Oh, yes. Look at the skill. <laughs> All right. I was inspired to play this again by uh, a YouTuber who I also know a little bit on Discord as, uh, oh, that wasn't very smart, Steve, Steve's 8-Bit Gaming, that's his channel name. You should definitely go take a look at Steve, he's making some interesting videos these days. Hasn't been doing it for too long, longer than me, but uh, not too long. one yet. Huh. Who's he talking about? My man Steve. Anyway, he's, he's a good dude. He, he did play this. Um, it's clearly not one he's played very much, which is just fine. It uh, rekindled my interest in the game. It also made me realize how long it takes to play this game properly. It's not exactly a quick moving game. Especially if you want to get very far into it. This is the highest level that the dirt reaches. Will I have time? Let's find out. Let us hope. Yes, didn't drop one on me. Good news. Alright. Another decoy hole and maybe I can grab that third and final treasure. The trick here is to uh, do that without f accidentally filling the hole with water. And being able to get in and out without getting hit by a lump of dirt or exploding yourself. And he just keeps dropping them in this hole. That's nice. Let's make some more. A little bit more. Good. Lots of mechanics actually in this game which, which make it interesting. The Oh great. Am I clear? Yes, I'm gonna get filled in here though, aren't I? Give me a break. Squeak my way out of there. Nice. That is the You Got an Extra Man celebration. So good news. Uh, oh, here's the next mechanic of difficulty. I'll just perch myself here so you can see what's going to happen. Pow! A slow moving shot of shrapnel, maybe? Something. Self-propelled, how would something like that work in real life? I can't think of any way that it would work in real life. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's video games. It doesn't have to make sense. I've not been able to get my uh, game controller working for this emulator, and I'm not quite sure why. Right now the shots are slow enough that not too, not hard to dodge at all. However, too close to that last treasure, I wouldn't be able to get in there. As soon as I popped out of the hole, it would shoot, and then I would be done. So, that concludes level 5. So with the extra mechan- oh, there's a tough one. Look at that one, right? Tight underneath the water. Super duper! about that one that's that might be a game ender that one there it's a 
potential trouble with some of these uh -oh, some of these uh, games with random elements and uh, probably not enough room for game logic to uh, put some constraints on where things can be placed or at least not too tight of constraints. I might be able to get in there if I can manage to do a bit of precision bombing. If that makes sense. Not sure that term makes sense. What the heck? Let's see. Well, let me try it from this side. It's actually a little bit easier to come in from the right than it is the left because of the way your helicopter turns. I'll show you what I mean. When you turn this way to the right, you can go straight down. But if you uh, made a hole and uh, turn to the left, your helicopter will actually smash into the wall there before, instead of going down the, nicely down the hole. A little bit of a quirk, I guess it had to do with making the sprite look good and uh, assuming it is a sprite, probably. I'm not a real programmer of 8 bits or anything, so I'm not sure. And the uh, balancing out the shape of various elements in the game with the pixels that they had to work with. The programmer, Mr. Tom Hudson, had to work with. This is going to be a little tricky. Especially when the plane drops a lump of dirt down on your head. Endless lumps of dirt. Huge capacity. Russian super super carriers. Good goodness, why are you continually dropping down the one out of seven holes that I'm trying to get down? Uh, nope, that's no good. Let's uh, great. Get lined up and another dump of dirt. Some more holes, maybe he'll stop. Goodness. Dropping down the one that I care about. I don't think the game's smart enough smart enough to actually know. Maybe it is, I don't know. Another one of the mechanics that is a little subtle is that uh, bombing rapidly. Yeah, there we go, look at that. Bombing rapidly um, is not your most economical technique, although it may actually be a little more economical in terms of score, but in terms of uh, dirt removed per bomb, a little slower vertical bombing is much more effective. Ooh, what have we here? Tricky. Hopefully not t too tricky. Uh, oh, yeah, thanks. That's perfect. Let's. Why don't you keep doing that? Oh. Did myself in there. Alright, let's give this a go. If he's gonna get, cut us a little. Nope, no slack. No slack to be cut. And we got the turret thing, which I guess I successfully. Now we got room here to go straight down without. and still pick up the treasure? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. I think if I get a chance, which I'm not, of course. Yes, look at that. Treasure sticking uh treasure sticking out just enough. You refill bombs by going back over to your pad. I don't think I mentioned that yet. You can carry 75 bombs. Which uh, especially when you're trying to do something a little bit intricate that if you're not paying attention, you can get get caught out with running out of bombs and when running out of bombs when you're Underground is uh, a good 
way to end the game or, or, or lose a life, lose a life. Your life being a helicopter, I guess, in this game, not a, not a, not a man, and yet we use that term, so that's fine. Stop dropping down that hill. I have not recovered a single treasure. I think I started this level at 30, 000, over 30,000 points. Now I'm down. Uh, that's, the other, that's another thing that I haven't mentioned, is that you'll notice when your explosions are explosioning, you um, lose points rapidly. Although, it's not... Uh, it's not a massive point loss, but it adds up if you're not managing to collect some treasures. Also, does it just count? Yeah, it just counts. Your score just counts down in general. Just because the programmer is a bit of a masochist, I guess, maybe? I don't know. Just gives you an incentive. Oh my goodness. Please, stop it. it feels like it knows. Feels like it knows that that is the one. It really looks like it. it really feels like it. at that, near that location. Kind of looks like it, actually. Which means that this kind of approach, which is coming at it from a different angle. Huh, interesting. Quick, 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 quick. You jerk, jerk plane, you. The shrapnel guy. Goodbye, shrapnel guy. Now, this last one. Myself a little more breathing room here with uh, a giant set of caverns there, and then come at this one from the side and hope that he doesn't fill me in while I'm down there. Oops, release the water. turret is uh, far enough away, the turret is far enough away that when I come out here, although it'll shoot right away, as long as that is a clear shot, it'll uh, take a long time to get to me. Alright, level 8. I think my record in this game was like level 20 or level 24 or something like that, but eesh, that was a long time ago. Okay, Mr. Turret, how about you stop it? Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! This is not going to end well for me. Okay, let's change to a different one. One. One of three. Another slightly tricky one, although it's not so far buried that hopefully we'll be able to whoop, sneak in and out. Oh. That is odd. Give me a chance, give me a chance, give me a chance. Stuck in the wall, that's good. That's another thing that if you're sure if I mentioned that already or not, if your treasure is embedded in some soil, it'll drop if it's hanging free, but if, or if it's freed up completely from the soil, but if it is attached somewhat to the wall, embedded in the wall of the soil, it won't drop, it'll just hang. I don't know 
if I mentioned it, but you saw that on the one where I had a little bit of tricky bombing to do to get it out from underneath, kind of. And um, obviously patience is important in this game, and uh, having uh, quite a long... Oh. So we've wrapped around again. I think, I think, I think the difficulty change is that the, uh, maybe not. I was going to say the shrapnel comes quicker. Maybe not. The butt, oh, does the dirt fall quicker maybe? Actually, yeah, I think that might be what it is. I think the dirt is falling more, more quickly now. Hey, extra helicopter. Look at me, all so many helicopters. I haven't even had a foolish death. I had a couple of close calls. I don't know, that shrapnel might be moving a little more quickly then than it was before. Okay, let's see if we can get this one and get Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. All right, nice. Okay, uh, not bad actually. Getting a little, getting a little luck with the level generation here. Yeah, the dirt is definitely dropping more quickly than before. Oops, see, no oh, time to scoot down. We're in the early levels. I could have done that. Close escape. Close escape. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Just squeaked that one. Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna try something here that I had forgotten about actually, where you dig a big old tunnel hole, and you come in fairly high up. opening without him dropping dirt, which I got. Yahoo! Lucky, I think. A little bit lucky, anyway. And that's level 11. Oh, there's a toughie. Right, right on top of your head for the dirt. Okay, let us see if we can't grab these two
those two that are near the surface without getting smushed. Uh, you might think that you can shoot the dirt in the air. You sort of can, but you don't actually eliminate any soil by doing that. You just sort of delay its, its uh, fall a little bit, which I guess makes a certain amount of sense. might be a case of uh, similar to the last level where you sort of come in high but I don't know it's pretty far down there you can uh, with the, mecha the, me the mechanic of being able to drop the, uh, the treasure you can actually drop them off the bottom of the screen, which um, loses you the treasure, but uh, allows you to finish the level where you might not be able to get in and out otherwise. Oh, come on, let me shoot that. There we go. Wow, why is he not dropping any soil down here? Could I actually get in and out of here without... at me. Now I'm losing. All of a sudden, all the lives go out the window. Down. Long way down. Oh, luck. Luck, 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 luck. I'm going to get out of this as long as I don't get too, too cocky. All right. Should be able to get another extra helicopter. Now we're on the purple soil. What's new? What's harder? Don't know. Fast dirt. Fast falling dirt. Is that it? I guess I didn't let that turret do any shooting to find out if the, uh, if the uh, shrapnel moves any faster. I guess we'll find out here now. Oh yes, definitely faster. Alright, well. This is, uh, so you have much less margin for error here with those shots, of the uh, turret shots, that is. Alright, a bit of luck. Not too hard with the treasure placement here. Good news. Grabs, grabs the treasure, he shoots the turret. Another 
case of coming in at a different angle from a different angle. Oi, 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 oi. Time to uh, refill some bombs. Hmm. Okay, because you can get out of the way when he's at. When the turret is way over there, you have some time. Now, this is. Oh, that's not ideal. say, if I could ever get a sentence out, was get in there, drop the treasure off the bottom of the screen, since I don't think it's likely that I'm going to be able to get out again. Oh, no, 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 don't do that. This is looking pretty awkward. Do I have room there? Oh, yes. Okay. Well, maybe. Let's have a look. Let's, let's see what happens here it up well for dropping it off the screen. Maybe I can get out of here. There's a turret right there, too. <laughs> well, got the treasure to the surface anyway. I guess that, that worked out. Just lost all my, almost all my copters. And here we are. buried one, or one underwater one. Not much time here. The height of the, oh no. The height of the land, and the speed of the dirt, and the speed of the shrapnel, and the, all of that. A little too far over, am I? I'm gonna get dirt on my head anyway. This one might get me an extra helicopter if I pull that off a little close. Yeah, come on, come on. Ooh, lucky there. And unlucky there. The end. Well, that's buried bucks. That's got to be, I have no idea how long that is. Long. More than half an hour, I think. Long games, if you got into them back in the day. Alright, I enjoyed that. I hope you did too. Thanks very much.